Hello parents. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we call read aloud, one of our learning areas in which we read stories to our children. I hope that in this little snippet you would have a better idea of how we go about reading so that you are better equipped to handle the reading sections that you have with your children at home. I'd like to start with a quote by Charlotte Mason. She stated that we owe it to every child to put him in communication with great minds that he may get at great thoughts with the minds, that is, of those who have left us great works. And the only vital method of education appears to be that children should read worthy books, many worthy books. Just like our bodies need nourishment, so our minds need nourishment. And we use what we call living books to present ideas clothed in literary language of God, of virtue, of truth and of beauty. And these are presented in the books that we use for our read aloud. For the work in this discipline, you will find that the teacher will read the text slowly and carefully, giving the children time to digest the rich ideas present in the text. I will start off with presenting some terminology that may be foreign to the children, giving it a brief description. At the end of a certain section, I will pause and provide an opportunity for the children to tell back what they have heard. At the end of the section, I will present some parts of the text which hold rich ideas for you and your children to work through. I'd like to just state that this should be a time enjoyable to both you and your children. A restful, peaceful time in which you engage in beautiful literature together. There should be no leading questions and no frustration if a child can't actually remember. Take what they've said and work further with the idea that they've presented. Let this be a time where they feed off the literature. And most of all, enjoy it. It is a wonderful time that you get to sit next to your child and enjoy some time together.